You may be starting to wonder what the difference is between using linked to SQL and using data sets. Let's talk about this a little. Linked to SQL works through an object model. And so one of the benefits is that it's easier to write queries. Another benefit is that you can rename things. Now, of course, we use Northwind for all our demos, so there's no need to rename anything. Customers are in the customers table, orders are in the orders table. But your database may have more cryptic names. And if you use data sets, you're stuck with those names. If you use an object model, you can rename things so that your code's easier to write and read and understand. In addition, working with related data is much easier with the object model because you don't have to write the joins to get data out of multiple tables. Link to SQL takes care of that for you. ADO.NET goes directly to the database, so using data adapters and data sets will be faster. Modeling has a layer of abstraction, and that has a price. Your query against the object model needs to be translated into native SQL, and then the results need to be transferred to class instances. There's a performance hit to that, although it may or may not be noticeable. Datasets offer some capabilities that linked to SQL doesn't. ADO.NET works with lots of different data, including Oracle, Access, DB2, and others. Linked to SQL only works with SQL Server. Datasets offer batch updating, linked to SQL doesn't. And datasets make it really easy to go offline and then go back online. So there are pros and cons and benefits to both approaches. Now I'm certainly not going to stop using datasets, but I think linked to SQL is a great addition to the language and I'll be using it a lot. And in fact, I'll be using linked to SQL and datasets together in the same application.